everybody, welcome back to Thronebreaker makes me regret everything about my life and my decisions. But hey, yeah, <laughs> oh, enjoying the game, but my gosh, this area has just been like kicking our butt morally because it's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. So, um, wasn't there a morale thing we left up? Yeah, there's one down there. All right, I don't need it right now, but I just wanted to make sure that there was one. So we got a uh, we got a puzzle right away to begin with. We got some harpy, so this should be an interesting start. So uh, stolen dreams while passing a nearby cave means attention turned to the icicles hanging from the cavern's mouth. They seemed to pulsate eerily with the soft light. The queen told herself it was a mere reflection of the sun's rays. Yet had she a witcher's expertise at her disposal, she would know that the ice can be enchanted with stolen dreams, and such circumstances could mean one thing: a Solano harpy. Nest must be close by. Oh, all right. Oh, it's just a straight up standard battle. <laughs> Please, let's go. Bring it on. I have Ek in my body in my deck too. Oh, so that's three. Okay, okay. Standard. Three rounds. Three rounds. Three rounds. Three rounds. Uh, and there's my Ek. There's my Ek. Yes. 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 Yes, because he's going to allow me to decoy Ek twice. I don't think I need Reynard. One charge is like, I mean, I guess, sure. These guys now technically have orders, so I guess he could make them better, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do fire. And we'll save the rest of our draws for next round. So I hadn't really been using these guys to spawn out new guys, which... All right. All right, fine. See if I care. See if I freaking care, man. Put you here so we this might be able to throw him off quicker. Okay, you're gonna get burned. Ah, eggs. Eggs. Okay. All right. All right. That sucks. That sucks. And that was also one of my archers, which is one of my shooters. So we can put both of them at three damage. Not really what I'm looking for right now. I think let's get out the war wagon. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we can move them. You can try to win them all, but you won't. This will be fine. Consume these guys, man. Good, 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 good. I want that fire. Consume an ally. Okay, this is all fine still. He's got a scary deck. I'm not gonna lie. This is somewhat of a scary deck. So, I can pretty much murder anyone right now. You can move and do four damage. However, that won't kill. But we could shoot both of these guys and then kill. How do we want to do this? If we use her ability, she's likely to shoot. Maybe kill the harpy. Let's go here. Let's do this now. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. No, that's not what I wanted. Damage a unit, but number of cards in the row. So we could do basically 10. Armor 4. I'm going to do this. And... Yeah, let's save you. Dude, that Northern Wind is so good. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he passed. 8, 9, 10. So we're going to be right back at 10. Do I want to pull anyone back? Yeah. I'm going to pull the war wagon back. We didn't get to use him at all. Doggy's fine. Uh, so let's do one to kill both of you guys, and I'm going to shoot one of my guys. And then that's going to kill, do a little bit of damage. That's fine. He's going to get another heartbeat, but it doesn't really matter. Uh... That is a slight problem, but that's okay. And we're gonna pass. So we won round one. Most of our main burst is still in our hands, so I'm feeling pretty confident. We're both gonna be at 10 cards. Um, I don't have as much units on the board, that's okay. We'll be able to put fire out again. I think we get rid of Reynard again. I don't think I care about you. Oh yeah, we still have like two versions of Ek that we can pull out. Yeah, I think just doing four damage is probably best at this point. Because we have so much just, like, random damage on the board, which is going to be nice. Resilience. Uh, do we want to kill him right away? 
Maybe? I don't want my dog eating. It's my only concern is I don't want him eating my trinkets, because we actually really want our trinkets right now. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you got a little bit more HP than I would like. It's probably okay. We can do 5, 10, 15 damage to him right away. Is that worth it? Probably not. Uh, let's go ahead and decree. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait, wait. Five, and you have four, so you're gonna be right at nine. Perfect. God, you like oh yeah, I can't move you. Mm. Whoops. Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it that way, but that's fine. And then we got Reynard, who's completely worthless. He got his extra charges, which we don't care about. So I have to move one of these guys. Oh, I shouldn't. I could have moved last turn. What am I doing? <laughs> Good job. Good job, AI. Good job, AI. We do a lot of damage now if we throw out the Arbalisk. It won't kill him. But it puts him low enough that he is within kill range now. Dang it. That was a bad spawn. That was very unlucky in our spawn. Uh, we got two sevens, so let's do this. Put them all at three. Never mind, put you at one. We can damage the unit by ten. We can damage four. Let's hold off. I don't think there's any reason to yet. Put some slingers out. And then we're just going to go kill, kill, kill. You can keep the egg out, that's fine. See if I care. We still have Thunder out, and we still have both, we still have our Bomb, too. Yeah, we got ridiculously good amounts of power still. I can still act, man. <laughs> Watch your heads! <laughs> nah. No, I, I don't want to play you. Alright, never mind. I changed my mind, I don't want to play him anymore. I don't want to set fire on this one, because I don't actually want the eggs to blow up. Preferably. Probably will still happen. But see, this is the problem. We will get the egg blowing up. Uh. You know what? Fine, screw it. Screw it. We'll get the harpies, but... Wait, the harpies should be spawning in that row. Crap! No! We screwed up. Yeah, I wanted the harpy eggs and stuff spawning in this row. Uh, that's a problem. It'll be okay. Because this is just going to absolutely eradicate everything. Don't eat my thing, dog. Nice. So he still has two harpies. Okay. Okay. Whoa, what was that? Damage all units by two. Dang. Still, that's gonna be a lot of damage that we're just gonna randomly throw out. The, the downside is, obviously, all these harpies are now also out. Okay, thank God. We killed one harpy, so now they only have one extra harpy, so they only have one egg being spawned. Um, that should be good. Kill you. Might as well. And then it's gonna be our Ek murders. Yeah, we won this. Yeah, we definitely won this. So Ek is at 44 right now. Goodbye. Nice to know you. All these eggs are gonna keep spawning out more guys, which but once again, this is going to be so minor, it really isn't that big of a deal. Damage to enemy 5. Oi. You suck, dude. Um. I'm going to stop the Harpy spawns, so let's just do that. And then we're going to go ahead and put him up here. We're going to pull back. We could also do a bunch of damage to everyone again. Nah. We'll pull Ek back. And then next turn, we'll destroy whatever he puts out. So that egg's gonna stay alive. Another troll. Stop killing me! 
Dang, he does a lot of damage too. Getting the healer wouldn't have been the worst one. All right, GG, good job, good job. Boom. Ah, that feels good, that feels good. You know what I hate that you don't see is in um, uh, single player uh, Witcher 3, you could actually see the scores for every round, and I kind of want to see what our scores were on each round, just because I want to see how badly we won both of them. We won by a lot, though. Our deck is still pretty good, even without Rayla. Uh, rest in peace, Rayla. Hoo-hoo-ha! Stoya, son of Arbin. Rumor has it those plowing uh, Barbgazi have come down from the mountains again. Take a few lads and get rich off those scabby hairballs for good. Uh, but if it reaches Fuchs' territory, don't you dare follow him, Bruver. Okay, Bruver. All right. See what you're doing, Bruver. That's not cool, man. Hey, it's a chest. We've not seen a chest in quite a while, actually. Uh, all right, thank you. More stuff for the multiplayer game, which, you know, may never use. Uh, nothing else over here. We can go over there. Uh, I think we have access to new buildings. I think that's what's alerting me. Training grounds. We might just want to do training grounds at some point. We're trying to get over here. I don't remember all my units gaining armor. I don't really remember it. Yeah, screw it. Let's go, let's go grab the Herald Study. I don't know if we're going to need more people as the game progresses, but whatever. Whatever. I don't think we will. Oh, hey, guess what? We need morale again. Because that was a standard battle. Uh, let's go knock out this stuff. This is Forlorn. We're already... No, we weren't over here. I thought we were already here. Meave had stopped and was removing packed ice from her mare's fetlocks when Gabor Zigrin approached. The dwarf squatted at the queen's side, glanced about quickly, then started speaking in a barely audible whisper. Your Majesty, I overheard some folk talking in the smithy. Birdies claim there's treasure, true riches, in the hills near Blackbrook Vale. All right, here, let's do it. Stowed away there, and nobody dares go looking for them on account of beasts that have made their lairs there. You've got a wee army behind you. I reckon you could try. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Maybe worth the risk, eh? The queen brushed the snow from her knees and raising a hand against the glaring sunlight, peered towards the mountains. Though tempted, she had doubts. To start, the rocky scree at their feet warned clearly of avalanches. I shall think on it. She answered before vaulting into her saddle. I thought on it. We're going. <laughs> we're going. I don't care what they say. We, what, what, we're going to lose some people? Boo hoo 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 hoo. So, uh, you said south of here, but we were already down there. Unless you're talking about, oh, you know, I bet it's talking about, like, over here. Yeah, probably. Probably. So, uh, let's go fly over here real quick. And, because we have to do some backtracking anyways. Let's go get the morale thing. I think it was this way, right? Nope, not at all. Not at all. So we're just going to go grab this, get the morale thing, and then we're going to, you know, teleport back. Since we're going to have to do some makeup anyways, like, uh, we're going to have to do some backtracking. We might as well take care of this. I almost missed that. Yeah, I didn't see that road there at all. Cool. And then we're going to fly back. That was not the map. That was not the map. And then we're going to teleport, I guess, all the way back here. Maybe should have waited until we got over there and there could have been one closer, but I didn't really want to run across the battle. Not that we really need morale, but, you know, just in case. Just in case. And I'm assuming we're going the right direction right now. Do we have to go up? No, we just go straight through. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that much backtracking at all. So we're going to grab you, and then there's a bunch of stuff over here. Looks like there was another puzzle, too, so... We need more wood, man. We need a lot more wood. Hello, what do you guys want? Your Majesty, Gabor says this is our final refuge where you can rest and enjoy a warm meal before venturing into Black Book Vale. Soldiers are spent from climbing and need to sit a spell. If your grace could find some extra coin. I'm still going to do it. Thematically, Follow that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so that is... That's where we're going. We want to go up there and do that puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, we should have done the puzzle first. I actually thought this was the way forward, but this might be a standard battle again. We'll see. So we're fighting a dwarf? 
Headstrong. Gaskellon has always boasted of something, that there was no other as handsome as he, no other with juggling talent. Other soldiers simply rolled their eyes and ignored him. However, once during a stop at distillery, Gaskellon proclaimed he could drink ale better than any dwarf. This had crossed the line for Gabor, who promptly pulled a mug from his saddlebag. Finish your cold ale before Gabor does. So am I Gaskellon right now? Puzzle, custom deck, all that. So I need to finish my ale. Psh, please, I got it. I got it. I got it. So, every turn on turn start, take three swigs. Use one charge to take one swig. If you took more swigs than you have gawkers during the round, gain a gawker. Uh, alright. <laughs> on this turn, each charge you use allows two swigs instead of one. Give each competitor one. Absorb an ally's charges. Then after one turn, give them all back. So we can basically get three uh, three swigs. What do the gawkers do? Wait, why didn't I absorb? Oh, it's an allies. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, let's try this one more time. That was not really a great start. <laughs> so what do you do? We could also give each competitor one charge. So he's drinking three per turn, where we're drinking one per turn. On this turn, each charge you use the last two swigs of ale instead of one. Oh! I think I gotcha. Okay, now we should have a gawker, right? Gotcha. Give Gascon one charge for every two Gawkers. Gotcha. So then he took out three. That's fine. Yep, 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 yep. So now we're getting two charges. Each charge gives two swigs instead of one. I think we're good. I think we keep doing this. One, two, three. And that's going to give us another Gawker, which is going to spawn us with... So you're going to drink uh, down to seven. Let's try this one more time. One, two, three. And then we're going to go all out next town with this. No, see, that's not going to do it. Absorb knowledge charges, then after one turn, give them back. With additional two charges. So that would give us four. Okay. I don't know if this did it. Ah, oh, we were one off. We were one off. Dang. And then he's going to win. Okay. Okay. This is a hard one. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This one is hard. So that is our, like, ending one. We definitely want that. I think we have to stack both of these. I think we still have to go more for, like, A1. But it seemed like we could only get two swigs at once. Like, I don't, it looks like we could never get more than uh, two, um, two charges. So, because even when we have more guys, if you have more swigs than you have gawkers, gain one gawker. Gawker. These give one charge for every two gawkers. So that would get us up to four. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And then that's going to give us six. Then we do this. I don't know what that's going to give us. Ten. This should do it, right? No, this is 20. And that gives us a ton of... Yeah, yeah, that works. It wasn't as like, uh, you have to do it this way. So anyways, mark them ale, Woot. nice, nice. What, what does this card do for us? Mark them ale, what? You cannot do this right now. What? Say what? Impossible, I can't oh. believe it. Gascon, he, he drank a dwarf under the table. <laughs> I've said it before, I think, dear Reynard. You simply underestimate him. Nice. Nice. There's nothing up over here, right? 
Uh, okay, let's see what this mark of mail is. That was the first time we've not been able to actually enter the camp because of something. Uh, every turn on turn end, boost a random ally in each row by two. That seems really good. But that would get rid of our mana core. So here's the thing. The mana core does one or two damage to the enemy every time they spawn out. This basically boosts an ally by two every single turn. That is just strictly better. Oh. Okay, never mind. So what would we get rid of then? The thunder? On turn end, boost. So we play this then? So we play this and basically we get two for the rest of the rounds. That'd be really good for um, like second the second round because we could just play it when we know we're going to go all out okay all right let's go over to this area nice waterfall and there is our teleport sweet nothing to scout right nope uh how long have we been going 21 minutes so we can go a little bit longer hello what is this place like Brook Vale. Grass. Quite lovely. Aye. And damned dangerous. Keep your arms at the ready. I see a troll. I see a troll. We're gonna go kill you, troll, just FYI. Uh, you're now earning Black B Brook Vale. Do not touch anything. Do not stray from the path. Do not spit from the terrace. Always watch for monsters. <laughs> Meh. 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 Bunch of dwarves are just scaredy cats. Clearly. Uh, I think, yeah, here we go. We, the dwarves of the third Black Brook Vale expedition, have erected this obelisk as proof of our efforts to follow in our footsteps. If we do not return, drink to our health and remember our names. Ho, ho, ha. M, 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 D, C, V, I, I. Uh, 1214 by human reckoning. So, did they die? I'm guessing they probably died, right? And this is probably their, you know, equipment. <laughs> oh, well. We strayed from the path. Haha. Uh -huh. Uh, which way do we want to go? Which way's forward? That way. So we'll go up here and we'll go fight this troll. Hello, Mr. Troll. And I guess we're going to call it probably when we clear this troll out. Eh, we might see what's up there with the... Nah, that'll be story. We'll do that next episode. So we'll finish with the puzzle. Hopefully this won't be too hard. Frost Brigade. Markham's engineers were puzzled by the mighty frost bridge had fallen. Why the mighty frost bridge had fallen to ruin? Perhaps an ice flow was to blame, or a stiff frigid wind from Mount Carbon? An earthquake, perhaps? No, these were not the cause. True culprit stood 10 feet tall with thick skin and exceptionally hostile temperament. Move all units except the bridge told to the other side of the battlefield. Do not let any unit die. So it's straight up puzzle. So we have to move everyone to the other side of the battlefield, but don't let anyone die. So we have to get all our guys across the bridge. Uh, every turn on turn start, damage three units on the right by three, two, one, three, two, one. So we have to move him. Force the unit to move past the broad bridge stool. <laughs> this is like straight up um, uh, 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 Monty Python, Quest of the Holy Grail. What is your name? Move a unit one place to the right. Is there a problem to do this? We have to move everyone. I don't understand how we're supposed to because we can only move two units to move past the troll. Oh, let a unit cross the bridge. Ah! Okay. So every turn he lets one dude cross the bridge is what you're saying. Sure. Let's try this for now. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. So... You move you. No, we failed. Yeah, we failed. Okay. Okay. I got, I got how this works out now. So... We can only move two guys. They're gonna do three, two, one in damage. 
I think there might be something to be said about this guy's move. So I'm okay with you doing damage here, here, and here. Because he can take two shots. So... I'm going to move you. And we're going to move you. Now the other thing... Let's have you move over one. Then you're gonna go move. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna die again. Dang. Because we can only move one of these guys. So one of these guys needs to take an extra shot then is what's happening. This is definitely one of those puzzles where there's like only one solution. So the question is, are you about move in here? Yeah, actually, there's no reason to uh, you use any of these on this guy because he can just stay down there and never take damage. Yeah, all right. I still think we spawn out with you. If you're there, you're going to take one, then you'll take two or three. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to force these two to move. Because he needs to take two hits. He wouldn't be able to take two hits if he stayed there. So then you're going to let him move over. Now it's going to be three, two, one. So you'll be at three, so we'll have to evacuate with you. Um... So we might as well switch you two then. Yep. Yeah, this is what we do. So then you go here, you go here. You're gonna survive with one left. And then we'll have you go here, and then you go pick him. Beautiful. Beautiful! Nice. That was a good puzzle. It was a good puzzle. Uh, okay, we apparently killed the troll by doing that. Uh, I'm not gonna grab the monument here, because we're already at full morale, and this might lower morale up here. But for now, we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, jump the game, comment, and show your support. I'll see you next episode, we'll, we'll figure out what happened with this dwarf. So, later, guys.